Hey, it's nice to have you back here in this new video. Today, I'd like to share with you some bonus tips and tricks on the Intel 360 X3. As you might have noticed, I have made a very in-depth review on the Intel 360 X3, and the review video exceeds the two hours. It's, but in this video, this video is gonna be real quick. I'd like to share with you my scooter shooting solution with my Intel 360 X3, because Intel 360 X3 was designed to be a very powerful 360 action camera, not just to capture 360 content with active HDR, but it's also capable to deliver 4K resolution on the basis of a single lens. So the Insta360 X3 was designed to be a hybrid camera. It is a combination of the 360 and action cam, and it does great. I'd like to share with you my basic combo setup for me to capture on my scooter driving, because I have capture most of my sample shot on the basis of my school driver and I think this is a great shooting, the moving shooting platform for the X3 and with the single lens 360 shot, it's a hybrid camera design, I think the X3 is my ideal solution for my everyday content creation on the road. My name is Yijun Guo, my YouTube channel is dedicated to 360 photography, video, accessories and some cutting technology. Now let's get started. Let's talk about my mounting system on my scoot driver. So it's quite simple. It's designed by Telesyn and it's very cost effective. And this is a very cost effective solution. So this is a super clamp and with an adjustable, it can fit my scoot driver, the, the, the bike handle really tight. And by locking in its place, so I get to mount again an extra magical arm on the back of this super clamp. And this magical arm, has two additions. One of them was made of aluminum alloy. This is a premium build quality. And this combo setup in my hand was built of nylon. The nylon, the nylon structure is lighter and had add more friction in the board joint. On the other side, I place a board joint with a GoPro finger mount and extension arm, just like that. And if you take a closer look at the extension arm, did you see that? It's almost empty. It's it's very lightweight, only 16 grams, and you know the wind pressure on this magical arm, extension arm, is very small. So to speak, with less wind pressure on the magical arm, your camera on the top will be more stable. And on the top, I use a GoPro finger mount or course mount thread converter, and then I convert my an X3 with a Corinth mount on top of my, um, yeah, and, and then I use this one, and the 1x3 in this orientation. So when I shot in the single lens mode, um, I will change the lens on top at almost an eye level. But when I switch back to 360 shot, I will bend it over to make it totally invisible in the final shot. So this is, this is also a hybrid scooter shooting bundle for the X3 as well. Uh, more importantly, there are some extra bonus quickly system that are designed by some other manufacturers such as the Falcom F22 that I have made a standalone video on this Falcom F22 quick release system designed specific for the 360 camera. This is an excellent solution. But don't forget, don't ever forget the Bushman Panoramic also come up with a solution that is the Bushman Panoramic Quick Release System for 360 camera. This is also very smart. This is, this is a very simple and tight Quick Release System. Looks, it's adapted a very unique mechanism from our scoot driver and we have immigrated the solution. You see that? If you want to know more about this Bushman Quick Release System, you can refer to my coming next video on this standalone, I will give you an in-depth review on this quick release system as well. So definitely a great design for the 360 action camera. So next, coming next, let's take a super clamp, extension arm, the 1X3, the X3, take to the real world shooting scenarios. I just want to like to share with you some uh, behind the scenes shot when I capture my beautiful everyday content with X3. And I will use the behind scenes shot with the DJI Action 2 so that you can also make some side-by-side -side comparison between the Action 2 
versus the single lens from the X3. Okay, I'm now recording with my scooter bundle. It's a clamp, an extension arm, which made of metal, and it's a very low air pressure. So this simple setup gives me more possibilities to capture some content uh, in the morning. As in the morning, I can mount the Insta360 X3 on my scooter and use a single lens the shot at 4K at 25. That's normally my basic settings. But I can shoot up to 4K 30, and even at 3.6K at 60 FPS. It doesn't matter. Uh, but one thing I've noticed that you'd better adjust the horizon line before you press the try button. Because uh, with the in-camera flow state stabilization, it will not compensate the horizon line unless you have put it right before you press the shutter button. And I use my DJI action to capture some behind the scenes shot to show you how I have positioned my X3 and how I position my phone on the left hand. So this is my basic setup and I do hope you can enjoy this video clip. And this is my, some simple tips and tricks for you to better understand X3 and make the most of your existing camera. More importantly, uh, with this combo setup, not only you can capture a single lens daily vlog, but I can also capture an active HDR at 5.7K and 25fps. So it's amazing dynamic range, a vivid color, everything crystal clear, and at the same time, I get to reframe the shot and get the best possible image quality from the X3. This is a, one of the best features I love about X3 and with this scooter combo setup with the help of slow state stabilization your footage, your content it looks pretty unique but you do need a bit more workflow but you do have to uh, post process reframe the shot to get the best possible reframe shot from studio software or on your app. So far so good. This is a great option for a daily vlog. And with this settings, you get the best possible quality from the video capture in X3. Do hope you can learn something from this video and help you better create content with your uh, mobile platform. I mean, your, your bicycle, your scooter, you know, to this is one X3. That is simply because the X3 is a great hybrid camera. It's not just a 360 camera. It's a single lens action cam it's with premium performance and with also great audio quality. So from every perspective, I think the X3 is going to be my go-to camera on my everyday content creation. So I would like, I prefer to use this audio and video and with my combo setup, I can take more of my spare time to create better content for you guys and update more 
upcoming videos on my YouTube channel. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Stay safe, see you next time. Bye.